guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to start a little bit of a series on my YouTube channel and it is going to be my five favorites. So this is going to be my five favorite loose glitters from Glitter Bells. If you think that's something you'd be interested in, stick with it. So the Glitter Bells loose glitters can be used with both gel and acrylic and the fine loose glitters which I prefer, are also really good for sugaring. So if you are a nail tech whose clients like a lot of sugaring, these fine glitters are really perfect for it. You can also use the clear brush on builder gel if you want to fully encapsulate the glitters. However, I tend to put them on the nail over a sticky dispersion film and then double top coat them and it gives me the same look. However, that being said, you can get more dimension with the brush on builder, so it's really whatever you prefer. When you wanna use them with acrylic, you can dip into your glass slippers, clear acrylic, and then dip into the powder, and you can apply them similar to a pre-mixed glitter acrylic powder. Works really great that way. No bubbles, lovely. So in the glitter line, there is fine, medium, chunky, and multi-mix. They are 15 grams, and they come in the most beautiful pot. So let's look at my favorite five. Okay guys, so picking five was horrific. I don't actually know how I'm gonna be able to carry on with this series because then I'm gonna have to pick five gel colors, check five gel polishes. It's not gonna be good. I managed to swear away five of them that I might suggest to my clients the most. I like them all, of course, for different reasons, but these are the five that I tend to pull out first when a client's like, which glitter do you think or do you suggest that I should use? So starting with the first one, I'm gonna pop it up on the screen here. It is called Slushy and it is a fine loose glitter. Be still my heart with this one. I love this one. It is beautiful. It is like bright. It looks really good if you put it on over a purple. It also looks really good over a um, like a white nude, like a light, light, light neutral color. Also kind of cool over black. That's something that you could give a try. Um, another thing I've also done is painted the client with gel polish and we've done black, gray, white, you know, we've done like the ombre of colors and then used the glitter over top and made kind of a glitter ombre. That's just an idea. Next one up is North Star. I love this one for mixing with acrylic. I haven't really used it over gel polish because it is the larger chunks like you can see, but it looks so, so sweet over an acrylic design. Like let's say I've already got my acrylic color laid down, a hot pink for example, and I can come in with these stars and do a little cluster of them here and a little cluster of them there, and it works really well. Sometimes I even just barely dip into my glass slippers or even just into the monomer to lay them down, let it dry for just a, a little bit, and then come back in with my glass slippers and cap over the color. And it really gives it dimension and these stars are just really, really pretty. The next one I have picked for my five is also a fine because I really like the fine glitters. I find that they are more versatile for me because I do use gel polish a lot on clients so the fine ones end up being more my jam, but I totally understand if you would prefer the chunky ones. But this one is shadows and I love shadows because it's glittery but it's not like pretty glitter. It's more of a grungy rock star glitter. And I really like that. I really love it. It has just the smallest of like a gold brown tone to it, uh, but I think that adds to it. I think it adds dimension to it. And I absolutely love this over a coat of black and then using your dispersion film. The next one I have is also a fine because I'm a creature of habit, but this one is called Aubergine, Aubergine saying that right? And it is an amethyst purple and I really love this shade of purple. I love the jewel tones. I love the deep, deep colors. I have found that this one has ombre really well in the past over a pink, like a light pink or even a lighter purple, you can get a really, really nice ombre with all of these. But this one in particular, I've used a couple of times and really, really liked how the ombre went. Now, the next one is a mixed because I didn't want to disappoint everyone. And I think it is 
beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now, I would have picked a blue. I would have picked another blue, but I had already picked slushy because I think this was the first one I ever bought of these and love, love, love it because I am a blue person, but I didn't want to go with two blues. So I went with my next absolute favorite and it is called Sea Gem. And like, let's just take a moment to look at Sea Gem. It's beautiful, it's stunning, it's everything you would want, and you still can put it on the dispersion film the way I was speaking uh, about the fine ones. It just goes on a little bit different. I feel like it needs a couple of coats. Uh, you need to be a little bit more careful where you're placing it, whereas with the fine, I can just kind of place it and go. Like, it just goes where I need it to, and I don't really have to think about it. But I do have to push this around a little bit, which is fine. You just have to know going in that that's gonna happen. This also, the mix works really, really good with your acrylic it lays down really nicely and I find it uh, settles in nicely if you've ever used kind of a loose glitter with acrylic you'll know what I mean sometimes they don't settle in very nice but these mixed ones really do and I really love this one I hope you've enjoyed this video it's been short and sweet but I wanted to I, I've had a couple of messages from people that are like what's your favorite of this and what's your favorite of that and I thought how fun to do a like a five favorite so this is my five favorite loose glitters comment down below what you would like to see next whether you want to see my five favorite glitter bells accessories or core powders or colored acrylics or glitter acrylics let me know also any other ideas of stuff that you would like to see on my channel let me know i hope you've enjoyed have a great day